Hey, hey. Welcome back to your house. remember the two hints from the previous episode the hints are a small cat and the second one is it goes quack so the words for today are kitten and duck kitten duck so I'll give you a few seconds for you to guess what sound these two have in common All right, time's up. So the sound for today is, drum roll please. K, k for kitten and k for duck. You can see the K sounds are spelled differently. The k in kitten is K and the k sound in duck is CK. So k for kitten and k for duck. So remember that for the next time you're reading, writing, or spelling. So I'll see you soon. I'll give you a hint for the next episode. The first one is they swim around in the ocean and have very sharp teeth. And the second one is you can find them in the kitchen cooking. So be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Aha! It's time for another session of STEM. Science, technology, engineering and maths. Today in science we're going to be doing an experiment called crystal candy, which is actually an experiment we can eat, which is awesome. It's made by forming a saturated solution from sugar and water. And just to change it up a bit, today we're off to the cooking room. To make this crystal candy, here's a list of the ingredients and things you'll need. A measuring cup to measure a couple of cups of sugar. A different measuring cup to put in the one cup of water. Sugar, enough for two to three cups. A spoon to stir with. We'll also need a pot to heat our mixture in and a stove to put it on. We'll need some skewers so that our crystals can form and some pegs so that we can hold our skewers in place. We'll also need a cup or a tall glass, something see-through so that we can watch our crystals grow. Now we're set to go. The first thing we're going to do is add two cups of sugar. Then our one cup of water. Stir the sugar and water mixture over a medium heat until you can see all the sugar is dissolved. You will see the mixture has turned clear once the sugar has dissolved. Then add your food colouring. And mix it in well.
Let your mixture cool a little and then pour into your glasses over the sink or a mat, somewhere easy to clean up if it should spill. Then dip your skewer into the solution so that it's sticky. Then when you roll it in the sugar, crystals will stick to your skewer. This is making a seed crystal. When we put this into our cup, the crystals from the solution will naturally try and form on the crystals that are already on the skewer. We then need to peg our skewer in place. Don't leave it on the bottom of your cup, but just pull it up a little bit so that the crystals can form freely around the skewer. Now we wait for our crystals to form. It's important we document our experiment too. We can do diagrams or write notations of what we did or observations that we saw during the experiment. So we've got one of our experiments finished here. As you can see, there's the little crystals that are formed on the side of the skewer. Let's take a close-up look of these crystals in the sun. I'll slowly turn it around so you can get a better look at the formation. So when a supersaturated solution cools, the sugar in the solution has actually um, run out to form crystals. And it's formed on the seed crystals that we put on the skewer before we put it into the solution. And then we just keep growing as the sugar comes out of the um, solution. Now we can eat it. Now after two days, this is our final product with a nice heavy coating of dense crystals around the edge of our skewer. Enjoy. Most of us have done work experience before. Um, of course, you haven't ever done work experience with me in the last year or this year. Yoga? Yeah? Yoga yeah. done? So, what we do, just to give you a brief rundown, is we um, go out in groups in different locations, which I'm going to show you on some slides, um, to experience what it's like to work in an actual work environment. So, it's cool that you guys are learning about work learning in, in school, but now you actually get the opportunity to go somewhere hopefully that you like and enjoy. Um, and so I'm, we're, we're going to talk about where we're going, uh, how many placements, so how many positions and at each place, and then Kate will come around afterwards and give out this sheet so you can choose where you want to go, all right? Um, and make sure to always put your name and your class on the top, otherwise you might, you probably won't go where you want to go. Place, out in gap. So things that you'll be doing, it's like range of work, working, um, you know, you can see out in Simpson Gap. Uh, working alongside park rangers, cleaning trails, fixing fences, and clear, clearing out some wild cactus maybe. Um, that most of you have probably been on. Um, so you're working in a few different groups, so different places in Coles you'll be working at. You've got the back of the house, uh, all the boxes and stuff. Fridge, the deli, where all the meat and stuff is. And stacking shelves. Um, last time, if, you, if you're looking for a job, if you really want a job of, you know, to earn some money, Coles is probably one of the best places because they actually want um, people to come. Like Talisha got, a, got offered a job last time. I don't want to name, name drop you, but she got off the job last time and then COVID hit and then it couldn't happen. So they're really actually wanting young people, especially young indigenous people, to come and actually work. And so if you're looking for a job, choose Coles. And uh, it's great. So there's, there's, two, there's two placements, two options. You can 
you go to the so the front of house, so you're serving, you're, you're taking the money, you're talking to the customers, going out, cleaning tables, yeah, like you're going to a restaurant. Or there's a back of house where it's cooking. So if you like the idea of cooking, making meals, um, want to learn how to cook some more food, if you like hospitality, or you like doing um, cooking with your teachers, um, this is a really cool option for you guys. Um, and if you both, like with two people who you go, if you want to experience both, you can swap around as well. Like one day you can be at the front and one day you can be at the back. So I like uh, this is childcare. This is a, so for anyone who really wants to see what it would be like to work in the, with children or in childcare, it's a really great opportunity. Um, the manager, her name is Leanne, she's, she's really nice. Um, so if you've never seen what toy library is, they have um, a whole bunch of toys that they, that they hire out to you know, young families, but they also have a childcare. Uh, to be working with children, cleaning toys, hiding up the rooms, um, you know, playing with kids, it's just real fun, real fun, super easy. Yo man Mark, and welcome to another episode of Numeracy. Last time, we looked at the four main operations that we use when we are learning about numbers. Can you remember what they are? Let me remind you. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. There are also other words to describe each of these four different operations. For example, addition can also be known as plus. Subtraction can also be known as takeaway, and multiplication can also be known as times. We also looked at different numbers that we could use for each operation. The first one we will attempt to break down is addition. Can you work out this problem for me? How many counters do we have? We have one, two, plus one, two, equals, one, two, three, four. So we have two counters plus two counters equals one, two, three, four counters. Now, we're going to try and add together two digit numbers. A key word I want you to remember is the word carry. How do we use that word in these two digit numbers? Let's have a look. To add these together, we will always start in the ones column. In this case, we have six plus seven. Six plus seven is 13. Now, this is where we will carry the one into the tens column. This way, we have 13, as you can see. In the tens column, we have one plus one plus another one equals three. 16 plus 17 equals 33. Let's try another problem. Eight plus four. Eight plus four is 12. What do we do with the one? We will carry the one. So eight plus four is 12. Carry the one. Two plus three is five. Plus the one that was carried equals six. 28 plus 34 equals 62. That is addition or plus. In our next episode, we will look at subtraction or takeaway. We also have another keyword that I want to teach you so that you are able to subtract bigger numbers. See you next time. Bye. Hi and welcome. This week we in our last bulletin for term three, we explore an ad hoc day celebration. Kafu make music with our girls. Commissioner June Oscar visit us and we learn how to use power tools safely. June, Oscar, Australia, 
Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Social Justice Commissioner visited our school the other day. We enjoy a short talk after which you reminding us how important our voice is and that we need to have a say. She spent some time with our girls in the academy room as she took down their thoughts and concern what she in combining into a report to our Prime Minister. I'm very honoured to be here and I want to um, just talk a little bit about the importance of education. Education can be the vehicle in helping us recognise and live out our rights through supporting and teaching each other about Indigenous history and culture and respecting us for who we are. We are the people who carry on the long line of families that have lived on this earth and in this part of the earth for 65,000 years or longer. So we have a huge responsibility to carry on our people and be the best that we can be. So when I was your age, I never thought that I would be Australia's first Aboriginal woman social justice commissioner. But with the benefit of a good education, I'm able to walk confidently in this world, but I'm also thankful that I have the tools of a Western education alongside of my Bunaba education to know how to be today. Thank you for inviting me to Yirara College and congratulations to all of the students who've received uh, awards and acknowledgements for all of your efforts. This week, some of our students participate in a big week to complete a unit from resource infrastructure certificate to use of hand and power tools. many skills we learn to help us in the future. Kavu ran three days workshop with some of our ladies that ended with a music video being made. Let's have a look. My name is Anna Potter. I'm a legal practitioner with Kathleen the Aboriginal Family Legal Unit. At Jurara we've been funded to run a three-day workshop with Year 7 to 9 students. The end result is going to be a product that we use to um, use for education in other schools and learning environments. 
to break down our three-day workshop, the first day was uh, doing some activities and brainstorming and mind mapping and coming up with ideas around those themes, which we then shaped into lyrics of the song and developed uh, the melody and the beat. And on the second day, we were recording in the Urara Music Studio. The key themes we're exploring with the students in this project are focusing on the positives and how to build strong, healthy relationships, families and communities. We look at what qualities a strong woman has and we explore this by inviting the students to express themselves in the form of a song. And on the final day, we were creating a music video. We have enjoyed coming out to Urara and working with the students over the last three days and hopefully we'll work with them again in the future. It is too early to see the video. You will need to watch Urara TV next term to find out more. We all want to be loved and connected, but sometimes you got to check yourself and listen to your body. We all deserve to be treated good ways. And if we find ourselves being controlled or trying to control someone else, you gotta ask the question, is it really love? Cause if it's not making you happy, it isn't worth it. We girls need to stick together and support each other. NAIDOC Day is an important part of our school calendar. This year we were lucky to start our day with the Central Australian Aboriginal Women's Choir who came out to you this morning to help us celebrate this special day. Our morning's assembly was led by some of our seniors as we talked about people we look up to. School prayer, singing, and mission, and please The theme for 2018 is because of how we can. Here's a slideshow of Aboriginal women who have made a difference to our lives. The two people who we chose were chosen because we see leadership qualities in them and we see them um, being able to grow. They also volunteer a lot at the school. They always jump in and help wherever they can and they're very strong and proud people. And we announced our NAIDOC ambassadors who were Marika Jack and Shannon Morton. We marched around the school to help celebrate this special occasion. We travelled into town to answer kill. And Pat and some dots led us with welcome to country. And we had morning tea. Once back on campus, we had an open panel question time with Kate, Exton, so Jeanette, that, that Turner, um, Trisha Morton, Thomas, no. Vanessa Stokes, and Michaela Peckham McKenzie. Um, you know, you should be happy with what you've got and yourself. And um, I think just being grateful for um, just being you. 
who shared with us what it is to be a strong woman and sensitive to our culture. Then we enjoyed a number of activities throughout the day including tug of war, table tennis, bow and arrow, face painting, art activity with hand prints, bone throwing, pedal carts, drumming band, photo booth, and Sarah comedy from Congress. Ride Tracks program helped out in the day with some of their special activities. A big barbecue lunch filled us up with hamburgers, sausage, sandwiches, salads, and fruit cups. To end the day, we had a staff versus students in all tag football. It was a close game, but it seems we might have narrowly picked the staff. We had just too much pace and flair. bulletin for term three as we go on a well and deserve two weeks break look after each other and stay safe remember it's, it's really, really simple. simple never drink and drive Welcome back, River, a piece of the past here, some long forgotten music, and watch Tara be interviewed by a local newspaper. Years ago, an art teacher, Maurice Lajum, and 12 students painted one of our walls with a mural. 21 years later, we are given it a refresh. Some of our art classes joined in retouching the artwork so it is now ready for the next 20 years of enjoyment. <laughs> this week, Tara Kelly was interviewed by the Advocate newspaper about how her training to become a police officer is going. I guess this was like in primary school, you know how when you, like, you, you feel small and you don't know what to do? Well, ever since like policing like came to the school and they like talked about us about like stuff and then it just made me realize like oh that's something I would want to do with my life. Like, if someone does it has been a hard week with plenty of team building exercises for everyone that was involved. Friday assembly, she received an award acknowledging the hard work and how she is sticking to her commitments. Well done. We look forward to more from her story in the future. After an, a number of years, it is good to see now school members being used once more. Some of our elective students have the chance to relearn some old skills. Our members were part of our award-winning hands across Australian music video when we teamed up with Living Waters Primary School. But just then I can really see sporting opportunities. My drinking and I tell you everybody living healthy. Power to the people, everybody treated equal. But I'm generation, generation one.
We look forward to the team making more music. That's your TV for this week. And, and always, always remember, remember to respect, respect each other. Bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>